Carrie Chapman Catt pioneered the prolonged transition of women from second-class citizenship to first-class citizenship by her efforts. The movement she started eventually paved the way for the equal rights and opportunities that women in American society have today. She fought for women's suffrage, deliberately, and this eventually gave women the representation in government. Her movement banded women together under a united cause, increased their spirit, power, and legitimacy. She inspired her generation, and future generations of women as well. Her ideals, and more importantly, the way in which she represented them and protected them, served as an inspiration. Carrie Chapman Catt was born on January 9, 1859, in Ripon, Wisconsin. She graduated in the year of 1880 from Iowa Agricultural College with a Bachelor of Science degree and a General Science course from women as the only woman in her class. Three years later, she became the superintendent of schools in Mason City, Iowa. She joined the Iowa Woman Suffrage Association and later became president of the National American Woman Suffrage Association. Four years later, she resigned as president to take care of her sick husband, George W. Catt, and established the International Woman Suffrage Alliance. Carrie Chapman Catt took a world tour for two years promoting women's suffrage and international peace. Eventually, her hard work paid off after she proposed the winning plan to campaign for suffrage on both state and federal levels in 1916 when the U.S. House of Representatives and the Senate passed the suffrage amendment. She needed to get 36 out of 48 state legislators to ratify the 19th Amendment, and finally in 1920, after the League of Women Voters was founded, Tennessee became the 36th state to ratify it. With this, the U.S. Secretary of State certified ratification of the 19th Amendment. Unfortunately, after years of beneficial work, Carrie Chapman Catt died in her home on March 9, 1947, at the age of 88. Without the dedication of Carrie, women would not be where they are today. It's a revolution. revolution.